The new Manila International Airport, also known as Bulacan International Airport, is an international airport currently under construction on the coastal areas of Bulacan, Bulacan, 35 kilometers north of the city of Manila. The project was proposed by the San Miguel Corporation, and will help decongest Ninoy Aquino International Airport the main entry and exit point to Manila for air travelers. The airport is a part of flagship infrastructure program of the Duterte administration, commonly known as Build Build Build. The proposed airport will be built on a 2,500 hectare coastal property as part of an envisioned 12,000 hectare township that features a residential zone, government center, seaport and an industrial zone. The 735.634 billion pesos airport development will cover the passenger terminal building with airside and landside facilities as well as an airport toll road and railway. The new airport is expected to bring trillions of dollars in economic activity, 35 million tourists annually as well as 30 million tourism-related jobs for people in Bulacan and nearby provinces. San Miguel Corporation has engaged the services of global firms Group ADPI, Meinhardt Group and Jacobs to design and build its 734 Philippine pesos billion proposed new Manila International Airport in Bulacan, NMIA. All three companies were involved in building world-class airports, including Singapore's Chani Airport, Atlanta Airport and France's Charles de Gaulle Airport. The initial designs, some of which were released earlier, envision a future-ready airport focusing on overall passenger experience, and sustainable technologies consistent with the needs of the environment and the local communities of Bulacan and nearby provinces. SMC said it will also engage a world-class airport operator to help manage the country's future premier gateway. This is our biggest investment in a single project to date, one that will definitely impact the lives of millions of Filipinos and the country in general, all the more reason for us to push for greater sustainability and choose the best people to work with us, SMC President and COO Ramon Ang said. As a catalyst to development, NMIA is expected to fuel trillion of dollars in economic activity annually, create an estimated 20 million direct and indirect jobs, bring in 30 million foreign tourists in the country, and, most of all, decongest Metro Manila with plans to integrate the complex to a larger infrastructure ecosystem that includes new and existing expressways and mass transit systems. The first phase of construction on the project, which includes two runways and the terminal buildings, began on 14 October 2020 and is planned to open by 2026. The proposed airport will feature at least four runways, expandable to six. It will have a capacity of 100 million passengers per year when fully built, which is about three times larger than the current capacity of Nai Yang. The first phase of the project will include two of the four runways. It will also be connected to Metro Manila by an airport toll road with connections to the North Luzon Expressway and Radial Road 10. The airport will also be connected by rail to the MRT Line 7 through the MRT 7 Airport Express project. Long Tan International Airport is an international airport currently under construction in Long Tan, Dong Nai, Vietnam. Located approximately 40 kilometers east of Ho Chi Minh City, it has been approved to start construction by the Vietnamese government on April 1, 2021. And the Vietnamese government has decided to begin construction in May 2021 and it will be finished by 2025. It will serve over 100 million passengers annually when built to the maximum designed capacity. The project is the most expensive infrastructure project in Vietnam's history. Vietnam Airlines is suggested by the project consultants as the only Vietnamese carrier to operate domestic flights, other airlines will operate international flights only in this new airport. The first phase of the project, with a capacity of 25 million passengers per year, one terminal, one 4,000 meters by 60 meters runway, was officially approved by the Prime Minister of Vietnam on November 11, 2020 with the completion date is planned in 2025. Based on the demand of transportation, the investment will be divided in phases. The Southern Airports Corporation, a company under the Ministry of Transport Vietnam, is in charge of development of this project. Phase 1, 2019-2025, the first phase is estimated to cost US$7.8 billion and will be divided into three sub-phases. 
Phase 1A, 2019 to 2023. According to the original plan, the airport would handle 25 million passengers per year after this phase is completed. However, the proposed capacity was later lowered to 17 million passengers per year to reduce construction cost. 5.6 billion United States dollars will be allocated to this phase. One terminal will be built along with a single runway. Phase 1B, 2023 to 2025, another runway will be built and increase the total capacity to 25 million passengers per annum. Phase 1C, 2025, the rest of necessary facilities will be built and land clearance for future phases will be made. The airport will begin operating in 2025. Phase 2, 2025 to 2035, the capacity will be doubled to 50 million passengers per annum and the third runway will be added when the phase is finished, which is scheduled to be in 2035. Phase 3, after 2035, the airport will reach its maximum designed capacity at 80 to 100 million passengers and 5 million tons of cargo per year. Four runways will be operational after the third phase. Terminal 1 was designed by Korea-based Hiram Architects, and is said to be shaped like a lotus flower, the national flower of Vietnam. The design was based on feedback from Vietnamese public and experts. The building will have a floor area of 399,987 square meters divided over four floors. The airport will be accessible via the National Highway 51, Bien Hoa Vung Tau Expressway and Ho Chi Minh City Long Tan Do Zay Expressway. Construction is expected to be completed before the airport opens in 2025. A third road is planned east of the airport and will connect with the Do Zay Fan Thiet Expressway as part of the second phase of the airport plan from 2025. The airport will also be accessible via the future Bien Hoa Vung Tau Expressway. A new high-speed railway service is proposed to be connected to the new airport as part of the Ho Chi Minh City NHA Trang section of the North-South High-Speed Railway Line. Airport planners propose a high-speed railway line be built to the airport as it will give passengers a more direct and efficient transit option to Ho Chi Minh City than by road which is already congested closer to the city center. There are also future plans for a light metro line connecting the airport to Tu Thien.